Warning, this video contains fast welding images. It may cause discomfort and trigger seizures for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Old Guy's Garage. Today we got a cool episode. We're jumping back on the El Camino. 67 El Camino, we're gonna do some metal fabrication. Um, might be a two part, two part series, uh, but it's gonna be cool. We're gonna do a lot of custom metal fabrication, so stay tuned. And then the last video, uh, we were out in Arizona and uh, we did a, a JB weld on the oil pan. Just wanted to let you know that that was successful, it did not leak, and uh, we made it all the way back. So I was going to shoot a video on that and we did a, a little bit of uh, videoing on the second coat of JB weld, uh, which we did, and um, yeah, it's kind of boring. So I figured it'd be like a five minute video, it's no point. I'll just let you know that it did work and it was successful. So. Thanks guys, stay tuned for this episode. It's gonna be cool. Doing some metal fab and some welding. It's gonna be nice. All right. What is up guys? Before we get started, guys, if you want to get some merch and uh, go to castyworks.com, it's my brother's website. Uh, right now, we're not getting any of the proceeds. It's all going towards our designer who helps us out with our uh, design work. So uh, it'll help his website, help him promote his business, and uh, we appreciate it. So if you want to go get some really cool shirts and some hot rod memorabilia, t-shirts, hats, cups, mugs, Stuff like that. Go to castyworks.com. That's C A S T I W O R X.com. Thanks, guys. All right. So you can see in the background right there, giant hole in the back of the quarter panel for the, the 67 El Camino. We have tried to locate uh, just about everywhere AMD, uh, Dynacorn, all the good metal uh, companies. And we cannot find a tail panel or a quarter panel for 67 El Camino anywhere. So if you guys happen to know where we can get one, that'd be uh, great if you could share that information with us. Um, and if not, we're going to actually metal fab that entire panel back to normal by using the other one uh, as a template. So stay tuned. That's what we're doing in this episode, guys. We're going to try and rebuild that entire fender. That real rear uh, tail panel on the quarter panel of a 67 El Camino. Stay tuned. All right, here's our new welder. Uh, it's a Titanium Unlimited 200. It's a multitask welder. It does MIG, TIG, stick, and it'll do a spool gun. Uh, so, so far it's been really cool. And uh, we're going to use it today to go ahead and we're going to start out and we're going to close up these holes right here. There was one here, and there was one right here, and we tested out the machine, and it worked great. You can see that that's nice and clean, uh, flat, no holes, and it's much stronger than it was. And we're going to do the same thing right here, right here, we're going to metal, uh, fill that with weld. And then we're going to move over to here, so you can see the gap is much larger than it should be. So we're going to push this panel in I don't know if you can see it in there move it we're gonna push that panel in to where it's supposed to be tack weld it and then hold it in place probably gonna cut a little bit of this material out right here and we're gonna go over to here and do some templates and we're gonna make this panel first I believe right here and it's gonna overlap under here a little bit and then overlap into this so it'll be a little flap like right here that we're gonna make an extension of this panel. And we're gonna cut it all from the old tailgate, which is smashed right there. But we figure why not use all that metal right there? It's all good metal instead of buying it. Plus, it's, uh, you know, it's the, it's the original car, so it's just gonna go right back on there. All right, let's get to it. All 
All right, we just turned on the new welder. We got it set at the lowest setting for 20 gauge sheet metal. And the wire feed speed is 80. And the voltage is 13 volts. <laughs> Alright guys, whenever you're welding, you want to have a fire extinguisher handy. You just had a spark hit me on the head. Uh, could have used that a second ago. Anyway, there's one weld. And see if we can get it to focus better. We're going to grind that and uh, see how porous it turns out. And then we're going to let Isaiah do that one. Okay guys, so the reason I cut that giant hole is because we're going to replace this metal here. Uh, but also I need to be able to swing a sledgehammer through here to hit this, this panel right here and move it this way. And it's just a little too stuck yet. So this, this right here needs to come to about right there. So this, this line right here needs to be about where that line is. Mighty sledgehammer. That'll get it done. This doesn't have to go far, so I'm going to hit hard. That might be it right there. 
Okay, you can see the gap fits much better. Still got to close it in a little bit right here. I'm going to use a lighter body weight hammer on this because I don't think it has to go far. Hey buddy. Morning Isaiah. Morning. Nice of you to join us. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready to do some welding I see. Gonna close that hole up? Yep. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Sounds like. Tired. <laughs> really tired. Alright, let's turn on the machine and get going. Alright. Darth Vader, I am your father. Don't touch the metal to the... Yeah. Hey guys, in this next section, what we're going to do is we're going to make a template and uh, we're going to make it out of paper and then we're going to actually trace it out on the um, old tailgate and we're going to cut it out. So stay tuned. Hey, don't jump on my car, bro. You need to check if the pen works? <laughs> yeah, I know the pen works. There you go. You know how to work the pen. All right, here's our template for that panel that we just did for that panel right there.
third panel. Already painted. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for staying tuned to the end. We're gonna actually cut it out on the next video. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Really appreciate your subscriptions and uh, hanging out with us. Uh, we're gonna do, be doing some work on this truck behind me. Uh, we got some cool stuff coming for that. Also um, in an upcoming video. So stay tuned guys. We're looking forward to uh, more cool content on the channel. And uh, we really appreciate your patronage, subscribing, and uh, so subscribe and like if you guys like the videos. We really appreciate it. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.